happy Wednesday, happy Easter half term. I hope you're having a good week or two off, whatever you get off. Um, yeah, I haven't picked up my camera in a couple of weeks. I've just, I've been, I've been feeling like not motivated, but the weather just, honestly, I hate going on about the weather, but it really, it feels like we've had the longest winter ever. It's just constantly raining at the minute and I'm just so depressed by it. Um, yeah, we have like the old snippet of like a blue sky and a bit of sun and then it goes back to storms and flooding where we are. It's just insane. It really can't make up its mind and it's just so depressing. Um, yeah, and obviously the kids are on half term break. Graham actually doesn't have any time off. But where we had the Good Friday, we all, um, the shop, we shut the shop early basically because everyone else was doing it. So we just thought, right now, we'll shut the shop early and we can actually spend some time together. So we went to the movies, we watched the new, um... Ghostbusters, I was going to say Blockbuster, Ghostbusters, which was really, really good. Even Miles loved it. It was a little bit jumpy though, so just bear that in mind. It is quite jumpy actually. It's not scary, it's jumpy. Um, and then on Monday, we shut the shop. I took, we didn't open the shop, so because um, obviously it's a bank holiday Monday. So we went and took all the kids, even Alistair. He said he wanted to come, which was brilliant. Uh, we went to the tank museum which was really good we haven't been there for years probably since the kids were about six seven that sort of age so yeah it has come along and come on quite a way to what it was before they've got more there and it was really really good everyone enjoyed it um so yeah we've just been trying to like when graham's got a bit of time just get the family together and actually save us some time and just spend some time together because it is so rare at the minute to be able to enjoy all of us together there's always wow. someone missing you know so yeah um it's wednesday like i said we've got friends coming over today which i'm really um excited for it's gonna be nice for miles to have some friends over and i can catch up as well which is always nice um and we don't have to go anywhere which is always a bonus so I thought I would just pick up my camera and just um, say hi. I've got a couple of things to do this morning because I've just got to sort the goats out, let the birds out, <coughs> sort myself out. Um, I actually do feel a bit like, you know when your head feels a bit like foggy? Um, Miles woke up a couple of times last night with some nightmares and I feel like I haven't really slept since half past one. So... Yeah, I feel like I've got that weird hangover feeling. I haven't had any alcohol, but I just feel, I just feel a bit funky. But anyway, I hope you're well, and um, I hope you enjoy today's video. Looking pretty, that man. There's the new one. Oh, no. noisy. Graham's been putting my greenhouse back together. Look at it. <laughs> Considering what it was, he's got obviously put some more panels in. But, um, yeah, got some trusty poles holding it up. Hey, Mama. Hey. So, yeah, they're in. We moved the sheep over there. So they're in this field now. With uh, the trailer here. And it's easier to clean out, to be perfectly honest. We've named her Molly. Miles named her Molly. Hey Molly, look how cute she is. colours but it's like a lot bigger than the one that I had previously. Um, I'm just going to take my, I love this flavour, so nice. Yeah I'm just going to do um, a 30 minute kind of hit on the treadmill. So I'm going to do one minute on, one minute off. So sprint, jog, sprint, jog. Um, I feel like I've just, 
just had a hot crust bun. I'm literally turning into a hot crust bun at the moment. I'm kind of sick of them, but I'm kind of don't want to waste them. So <laughs> I just had a hot crust bun just to give you some energy. And I've got my creatine. Um, Miles is actually having some screen time. Um, Alistair is awake and Violet is still sounding. Right, my gym, a bit messy. Um, Alistair's actually been, he uses this space a lot anyway, using the free weights and the punch bag. He actually had his friend in over the weekend. They do a little bit of sparring because they both do jiu-jitsu together. Um, but I said to him, because I know Violet hasn't been in here really, and she doesn't really use her gymnastics bar anymore. And I was like, what are you doing with the gymnastics bar? Apparently he does chin-ups on it. And I was like, okay, I might even give it a go myself. Anyway, I'm not here to use the free weights. I'm actually going to go on the treadmill for 30 minutes. Like I said, got a little bit of an incline on it. I haven't got much of an incline because it's quite a basic treadmill. Um, and then I'll probably just do a little bit of abs. These are my gym shoes for in here. I've got these wrap five years. <laughs> yeah, this is my treadmill. I've had this again. I've had this since, I think I got it in 2018 when I started doing my boot camps and workouts and stuff, but it's got programs. Um, but I just, I literally just use the speeds. As you can see, I actually couldn't get rid of my sofa. I put it in here. I feel like that sofa just holds so many memories. And actually, it's such a good space for the sofa to go because it's such a big sofa. Anyway, stop procrastinating, Claire. Can you hear Sunny? So noisy. Right. 23 minutes in, seven minutes to go. <laughs> right, I've had a shower. I've just been running around with Hoover. It's my last resort to get the kids up. I'm like, come on, you need to get up, you need to get sorted. Breakfast, like, come on. Um, got friends going in like half an hour. And um, yeah, it's just teenagers, honestly. I, mean, I don't mind them laying in, to be perfectly honest. I don't have a problem with it, especially if you've got nothing to do to the day, but because yesterday they pretty much had a full-on lazy home day. But yeah, when you've got people come over, it's a bit like, mm, can you? And Alistair's been really good, actually. Yesterday he spent quite a few hours in the shop with Graham helping. And then today he's going back in for a few hours as well. So yeah, he just needs to get a wiggle off. I also just made myself a little post-workout snack. These little cacao nibs are so good, honestly. So yummy. Right, it is, what's the time? Oh, it is 25 past two. Um, friends went probably like 20 minutes ago. They come obviously quite early and then they kind of go around like toddler nap time, I would say. Um, so yeah, we've had a really good morning. The kids just played so nicely and it was just really good to catch up. Um, Alistair's actually gone down to the shop with Grey, because Grey got back from market. So he's gone down to help. He's actually been helping down the shop the last couple of days, just to obviously help, but also just help with his boredom. He gets bored. So it's, you know, it's good. It's good that he's, you know, helping out and he enjoys it. So yeah, um, as you can see, I'm in bed. <laughs> I've had a little bit of a headache since I woke up this morning, I was saying I was just feeling my head been feeling really foggy. I think it's because I hadn't slept that well last night and I don't know, um, nothing hormonal because I've literally just come off. But um, yeah, I just feel like I've got a bit of a headache. So I've taken some paracetamol and I've said to Miles like, do what you want. He's just play. He's just playing. Um, he's just chilling out and playing. I think he's just enjoying the peace. I think when you're, when you're, not necessarily an only child, but when you're basically a little child and you're so used to enjoying your own toys and your own space and your own kind of quietness, having lots of people around and the noise and stuff can be quite overwhelming for him. Um, so he does enjoy his time with his toys when everybody leaves. So that's what he's doing. I have decided to just get in bed and finish watching a movie that I started yesterday. I started last night. Um, it's called Everything Must Go. It's got Will Ferrell in it. And 
it's actually in a 2011 movie so it's actually quite old but it's really good and it's really sweet and it's just yeah so I'm already well, I've only got 40 minutes left so I'm gonna finish what These are the lamb shanks. I've literally just started pulling them apart, but they've been in the oven for probably about three ish hours quite slowly. And that is basically what we're having. Good morning, everybody. I'm going to put these two vlogs together. I realised I didn't finish my video yesterday. I said I wasn't feeling well, I really wasn't feeling great, and it was very much like we had dinner. Alistair had jiu jitsu, so I actually dropped him off and then because his friend wasn't going because he's away. Um, so I dropped him off and then Graham picked him up at nine. It's quite late, it's seven till nine. So then um, I actually just went to bed early. I really didn't feel so great. Um, but I'm feeling better today. I'm feeling so much better. It feels like there was a bit of like, I always get this thing when there's, when the change, when the weather's a bit heavy, like the, I can't even describe it. You know, the humidity is quite heavy and weird. I get like a weird kind of, kind of headachey migraine, but it's not quite a headache or a migraine. It's very strange. Um, and that's, li that's literally how I felt yesterday. I felt really, my head felt foggy and heavy and I just didn't feel 100%. Anyway, uh, today I'm feeling much better. I'm just making my coffee. I just sent it to the dishwasher. Um, Miles slept perfectly last night. He slept all night. Ugh. Which makes such a difference to your mood, doesn't it? Um, I've got my sister to come over today. So another home day, to be fair, which is quite nice. I have got calves to feed. Um, I've got goats to sort out. I'm going to do a quick gym session in my gym. I'm just going to do a little bit of upper body. And then, um, oh, I've also got to drop my car off. Because I think I mentioned previously that my heater is broken it's been broken for about six months and we were considering just moving my car on just park exchanging it for something else but to be fair like I said to Graham like, I've had my car five years nearly five years next month and I swear that's the longest I've had a car I usually swap it around three years um but I just love it I love my car and to be fair if Mitsubishi Mitsubishi no longer sell their cars in the UK I think they stopped selling them from last summer, which is such a shame because honestly, like the car, I've got the Mitsubishi Outlander and it's honestly been my most favorite car. It's super cheap to run. It's big, but not too big. Honestly, I've had no issues with it in five years. So I am a bit gutted because I would have loved an upgrade, but yeah, I'm just gonna have to maybe next year find the next best thing. And to be fair, my car's really cheap to run. I've got no tax on it. It's a hybrid. It's fifty pounds to fill up. I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll get a little bit of electric out of it as well. It's just a no-brainer to keep for another year at least. And it's n I've never had anything wrong with it for the last five years. So I'm keeping my car. I just can't. I can't move to deal with the hassle as well. I really like my car, like I said. So um, anyway, yeah, I've got to drop my car off for the day. All right. I'm in. Got my coffee. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of upper body, get that done for the day. Someone's come to go on the treadmill. Keep walking. He's got it on speed one. <laughs> done eight uh, moves eight to ten reps four to five sets so quite a lot but it's only about 30 35 minutes minute rest in between 40 seconds to a minute got my buddy still in here i'm gonna get on the treadmill i'm gonna do Hi. 20 minutes um 
I do 20 minutes, minute on, minute off, minute on. Right, we're done. Different. But I go off my phone anyway. I mean, my watch is much more accurate. But we're done. I work on cardiovascular because I'm actually doing the Bournemouth 10K in June. So I just need to work on it, really. I've only done the 5K before quite a few times, but I've never pushed myself to the 10K, so I thought this year I'm gonna do the 10K. And on the beach, it's all flat and it's actually really, really nice. It's up from Lidl this week, which I haven't tried before. Mango, peach, pineapple and strawberries, which I thought was quite nice. Um, I think you can just use it as a topper or actually you could probably put it in. Okay, so I actually microwaved it for like 30 seconds, just so it's just a bit, a bit like, sweeter and not so frozen. I added fresh strawberries, blueberries, I added protein powder to my Greek style yogurt and then I added some cacao, cacao nibs and some of this muesli stuff. We've got new babies. Me and Graham picked some new calves up a couple of weeks ago. We've got four Hereford, these fluffy, fluffy ones. We've got six Angus, we've got one in here. We've got five over here. And then we've got an Arla baby, which is basically, this is our one pound. We call him Scrawny. He's actually been unwell. Um, so he's on a slow feeder and on antibiotics at the minute, but he's doing good. Um, and then we've got another Aberdeen, another Aberdeen, Angus. Yay! We've got 13 babies. The bigger ones. So we have fed the calves, we're all done with that. Cleanup's done. We are literally just about to drop my car off um, to get the heater fixed. So they're pretty much going to have it all day, and I don't have a courtesy car. So Graham's going to come from the shop and pick me up, pick us up. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. And I can go home and I can shower because I absolutely <laughs> I've literally got to go into a, the bloody showroom with my manky boots on because I didn't even bring any spare shoes. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I'll probably see you back at home once um, freshened up a little bit. Right, I've been running around like headless chicken, just straightening up, hoovering. I've brought in loads of straw and all sorts. Um, yeah, this is, I feel like when I'm at home, I have the most mum outfit like really sloggish um comfy but really um i just look a mess <laughs> this is literally what i always do put my hair up in a claw clip i've got like the baggiest the baggiest attire but you know what i'm super comfy and cozy and the sun's out and my sister's literally just arriving so yeah we're gonna be entertaining kids and they pretty much just pull all the toys out and we just have a really good, a good sisterly catch up and have a nice cup of tea. But yeah, I've just been straightening up really. I'm just um, flapping, bleaching around the toilets, you know, the usual. Excuse the dishwasher in the background. My sister has gone. It is four past four. I'm feeling a bit frustrated because, as you know, I dropped my car off this morning and you know, they were like, I was going to say about three hours, and I was like, that's fine, like, I don't really need my car today. I probably shouldn't have said that. I should have said, yes, I need my car, because I need it for tomorrow, whatever. But basically, I've had my car all day, and they haven't actually done it. Now they're saying they haven't got time to finish flushing it through, so they're going to do it tomorrow, which is irritating, because I've got stuff to do tomorrow. So I haven't had a car all day, and I don't know when I'm going to get my car back. Alice has got an eye test tomorrow. Obviously, Graham's working all day. Oh, it's just irritating. So why the hell they decided to take my car in if they knew they didn't have time to do it? Um, so I'm a bit peed off, to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, so I haven't got a car. I also don't have anything to cook with, because I was hoping to get my car back earlier and then pop to the shop to get some meat, and I have stuff here for a curry but i don't have anything so i don't know what we're gonna have for dinner graham's not back yet um i don't know when he's gonna be home um yeah i'm just a bit annoyed also not only has alice got an eye test tomorrow we're actually going away i 
booked very last minute last week, just a little weekend break um, to Weymouth. So, yeah, I haven't done any packing or anything. And to be fair, we can't check in till late. And um, I don't plan on leaving till like three. I haven't done any packing, like I said. Like, it's not an urgency. Like, like we're going to leave like AM times or anything. But, yeah, I'm just a bit annoyed about my car. I just don't understand why they took it in. Like, why? Why not just... I don't know. I'm sure they've got a reason. But, yeah. I feel absolutely lost with that car, especially because we live so rurally. I literally cannot walk. We have no buses. Like, there's nothing here. So it's not like I can just hop down the road to the shop or anything. But anyway, the kids have had fun. They've been good. Everyone's just... The house was an absolute mess, but I've tidied it up now. Um, yeah, the kids... They just love get, catching up and whatever. And I had a really nice time catching up with my sister. Um, yeah, we have, we've had a really chill day. It's been really, really nice just to do a little bit of nothing and just talking and lots of cups of tea and biscuits and, you know. Right, I've decided Easter eggs for dinner. Literally, that's it. I've had enough, I'm stressed. <sighs> Feeling flustered and I'm gonna pour myself a glass of rosé. Happy Thursday, everybody. I had to double think what day it was. Do you know you just, I lose track. Half terms, I lose track. Okay, I've just put on a feel good movie, Top Gun Maverick. I've seen it about three times. I just love it. Sweet and sour sauce. My I try this? Yeah, it's a prawn. There you are. Chicken balls. Well, I officially have my car back. Graham bought my car back randomly because obviously I was moaning like, I need my car for tomorrow. And apparently he was like, he basically said to them, you know, we need it for tomorrow. And they said, well, we're gonna have to have it for another whole day. And obviously can't really have it for a whole day because they have to order a part in or something. So they said if you, the best thing to do is just come pick it up and we'll rebook it in for the part that needs to be, apparently it's some sort of pipe that needs changing for the air to flow through. They said they've never come across such a blocked air conditioning unit. So that's fabulous. Um, so yeah, oh, my car's back. But apparently when they took it up on the, on the thing, you know when they, they bring it up, in the air, my tyres need changing. They would fail the MOT, apparently they're really cut, but it's because obviously we live on rural gravel grounds. So I actually always change my tyres every year, I have to have them changed. Um, so I've got, I'll get some new tyres tomorrow. I've got to order some. So yeah, I think Graham's gonna order some more all-terrain tyres or something. He's got like beefy tyres on his. I don't think mine are going to be like that, but they're going to be a bit more suitable for our terrain. Um, yeah, I'm not really doing much else. I need to get, it's like 25 to seven. I don't know where the day, the evening has gone. It's so light. I feel like it's really deceiving now it's lighter. It doesn't actually get dark till nearer eight now, which is bizarre because it technically still feels like winter, um, but it's like, I can't wait till we can actually sit outside and it's, you know, on those really like warm evenings. Um, but yeah, I'm just waiting for Gray to get back so he had to actually nip out again <laughs> to get some diesel for his truck. Um, I need to get Miles to bed. <laughs> 